a scratch. <laughs> oh, is that what he's doing? <laughs> yeah. So you can see how the back is flat there, down down the end. Uh huh. Yeah, that's um like a plate, and oh. that's actually their defence mechanism. So if they're being chased by a dog, they'll go to their burrow, and then um, the dog will come and bite, and it can't bite through that plate because it's really thick. Okay. Um, and what it'll do is it'll push up really quick, and it'll scratch crush the dog's head against the top of the burrow. Ah. Yeah, so that's their defense. So, if you're um, going after a wombat, yeah. um, chances are you'll get your head crushed. Yeah. And they poo square. Yes, yeah, square poo. We haven't shown you wombat poo yet. Uh, can't see anywhere. So we'll find some at home to show you and they'll, they'll often poo up on top of a log or a rock or something else. And they're more nocturnal? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting, interestingly enough, um, there's an island off Tasmania called Maria Island and the wombats on Maria Island are not nocturnal, they die only. Oh. Um, and they think um, it's because they have no predators. Hmm. Yeah, there's no predators on um, Kang on Maria Island, so they um, they're out during the day. Hmm. Hi, wombat. And I got <laughs> to cut a little baby one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Showing off for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, they're really strong in the legs. Yeah, looks like it. And yeah. you said they have a pouch too? Yeah, they have a pouch. They have a partial pouch? Like the um, no, it's a full pouch. It's a full pouch. Yeah. Um, it faces backwards, so where the kangaroo is on the front like this. Uh -huh. If you think about being tipped over, the, instead of the pouch face is not like it faces back behind, so that when they dig they don't fill up the dirt. Oh. Interesting. Mm. Well, how do they tend to their babies then? Well, I guess they don't until they come out. Yeah. Mm. He's very itchy. Yeah. 